Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire, and we are here at RSNA 2023. We're here with Ennis Hasgore. He is founder and CEO of Gesund AI. Ennis, thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. So, uh, Gesund AI, this is not your first RSNA. You've been here for a, a few other meetings, but you were founded uh, pretty recently, and, and you're an AI company, but you're not an algorithm developer. Can you talk a little bit about Gesund AI, what it is you guys do, and, and what your role in an AI development is? Sure, so uh, we've been at RSNA for a few times and I personally have been building AI ventures for a long time as a creator. This is my third venture now, uh, to be exact. And, and, and previously I was the chief data science officer of a surgical technology company. And I, when I saw the, the, the technical challenges, the compliance and regulatory challenges that went into building an AI product and bringing it to market successfully, safely and effectively, I saw that we need a mechanism, a technology enabled service that offers ongoing evidence generation. So therefore, we built Gisunt AI as an ML ops, a machine learning operations platform that orchestrates clinical validation studies for AI developers. In other words, we thought that, we argued that uh, many of these AI developers need a better way to communicating their solutions to their clinicians and, and health systems and customers. And, and, we, and, and as we saw most recently with OpenAI, AI trustworthiness and safety are major issues, so we need third-party independent validation, which we are orchestrating through our company. So if I'm a, an AI developer, uh, Imaging Wire AI, let's, let's call it, and I have an algorithm that maybe I've kind of done some really early stage work on, I could come to you and what could you do for me? We, uh, we operate as a one-stop shop AI CRO. In other words, just like other CROs run clinical trials for drugs, we operate as an AI CRO running clinical trials for AI, meaning we source the data from health system partners, you know, can be academic medical centers, community hospitals, imaging groups. We hire and manage US board certified expert readers who are tasked with ground truthing and annotating the data. And then ultimately our platform orchestrates the entire journey such that we can uh, generate regulatory grade evidence with audit trails, version control, as to who has done what and where, such that the FDA, when they look at your reports, they will clear your product. So we're minimizing the regulatory uncertainty while maximizing speed and execution for clinical studies. So, and, and the regulatory aspect of AI has become a, a big, big issue right now. The FDA released a report uh, a, a little while ago, just a couple months ago, talking about how just how many algorithms that it's cleared so far and how many it's going to be clearing soon. And then there's another issue of, of uh, the FDA kind of with, um, let's call it sort of follow-up uh, regulation of cleared AI algorithms. Can you talk a little bit about that and what that means for AI developers? Oh, I mean, we're in the very early innings of what it'll mean to bring an AI technology to market. I mean, many people got their early clearance one way or another, uh, but when you look at the new frameworks, new draft guidances, anywhere from good machine learning practice, you know, what the FDA has been vocalizing for several years now, akin to good laboratory practice or good clinical practice that the pharma biotech industry has been accustomed to. But we have that, you know, you have to have best practices building your AI and validating your AI. Similarly, you know, FDA with their predetermined change control plan allowing for AI developers to bring their new AI versions to market swiftly but reliably. All these considerations, you know, go into building and commercializing an AI technology in a very challenging and multidimensional and, and ever evolving environment. And given our regulatory expertise, coupled with clinical and, and machine learning expertise, we are, and, and given our uh, uh, non-focus on the AI development itself, we're not developing AI, we're here to offer the tools and processes to help AI developers do a better job and, and bring their technology to market. We, I can say that they should keep up with all the regulatory circles in the, and you know, of course the FDA, but of, of course uh, other parts of the world and see how they can future-proof their AI, as you see in my backdrop there, because new frameworks mean these AI algorithms can go obsolete overnight unless you bring your quality assurance and regulatory experts into the mix from day one, and that's what we facilitate. All right, great advice. Enes Hasgore from Gesund AI, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. All right, have a great show. Absolutely, you as well. Signing off for, uh, for Imaging Wire, my name is Brian Casey. Thank you.